when I found you. I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that, What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another week. Yes, as you just saw that opening, or if you didn't know, that was the trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Am I excited? And if you, everyone knows that I love movies. And if you didn't, you know now, because I freaking love movies. If you haven't seen it, there's a little card up here that talks about the last time that I was talking about how much I love movies and why I love movies. Today is Friday the 13th. Yes. <laughs> Creepy music, all that stuff. Yeah. I have 14 tips for you how to make it through the day. Most of all, it's October, which is like the scariest month of the whole year. Why? I don't know. Because it's Halloween and it's supposed to be scary. It's scary ish. But today is Friday the 13th, which Puts a little extra on it. Everyone's afraid of Friday the 13th. You think you're gonna die out there. It's kind of like movies, you know? It's like a horror movie. So I have 14 tips for you today on how to live through Friday the 13th. The very first thing is, if you hear a creepy ass noise, we should go check that out. No, you shouldn't check it out. Stay your ass right there. No, you shouldn't go check it out. Lock the door, grab a gun, screw that. Grab a bigger gun and sit at that door because when that door opens, he's coming for you. And at least you got your gun, you're gonna let him have it. Mistake everybody does is, hey, what's that noise? Let's go check it out. And then they walk around the corner and they're dead. The second one is, if somebody calls you on the phone and they say, go look outside, don't go look outside. Why are you even gonna walk out there? The door's locked. Obviously the guy can't get in, because once you walk outside, he's gonna like somehow creep in behind you, and then he's in the house. Easy as that. Also, make sure all your doors and windows are locked, because if not, they creep in through some door that you left open for your dog, you know, to come in and out. Lock all the doors. Don't go outside. The guy got in the house, you got out of the house, and you're running. Can you watch where you're running? Don't trip over a tree branch, and then all of a sudden, the guy who's been walking the entire time, somehow catches up to you and then he's right over the top of you looking at you while you're crying. How many times have you ever gone outside and you run and you just run, you're like running for exercise or running because the ice cream guy didn't stop when you yelled stop and he just kept going and you really had a, you really had the haul to get over there because he didn't stop, you had to chase the paleta man or something, you know, stuff like that. You never once tripped, did you? Don't trip when the guy is chasing you for the love of God. Work on your footwork. If you gotta look, think about it right now, think about it, but learn how to run without tripping and breaking your ankle or hurting yourself, and then you can't run, and then, because if you're with me, a, a little side one of this is have a slow friend maybe, because you don't gotta be the fastest one, you just gotta be faster than that guy. Simple. Number four, if for any reason you think your house is haunted, you need to go. Why are you even staying there? Oh, hey, let's set up this camera and record all the crazy things that are happening in our house. Like Poltergeist, one of awesome movie it was on this morning, so of why this chair slides across the floor. No, get out, pack your <laughs> get out of the house, because you know what's gonna happen? Your kid's gonna get sucked into the closet, in, or the tree's gonna come alive and pull them through the window, and then you gotta go up in your attic, and you gotta save your kids from the other side, whatever. Just get out, sell the house, burn it so nobody else moves into it. You heard that it's put, built on Indian burial ground? Get out, knock that house down, burn it, claim the insurance, and done. You never have to worry about your kids getting sucked up into the closet or through a tree, any of that stuff. Number five, if you have a basement. I have never lived in a house that has a basement. Don't go into the basement, why? Because when you go to flip that switch and the light never works and you thought, oh, I'll just go down there and tighten the bulb. No, the dude is hiding in the corner and he's waiting for you. Don't go down in the basement. Whatever is down there, it can wait. It can wait till the morning when there's light because there has to be a window or 
I don't know. I, I have no idea. Make sure that light works. Get, get more lights put in, not just one single tiny light bulb hanging from the thing that you gotta tap and then it turns on. No, because when the light turns on, guess what? Guess who's behind you? Ping! Yeah, he just pops up. Who knows where he came from, but when the light turns on, he's there. Don't go in the basement. That brings up number six. Same thing. If you go into a room and you flip the switch and the light doesn't turn on, something's wrong. Get out of that room. You don't need to go in that room. Stay out of that room. That light, you know that light has worked every single time. But as soon as you go to flip that switch and it doesn't work, guess what? Somebody's messed with the lights. And the dude is probably hiding somewhere in a room. He's probably behind the door. Most people don't think, oh, they just walk into the room. They never look behind the door because the dude Dude is always hiding behind the door. So for number five and six, it's about the same. If the lights don't work and you knew they always worked, don't go in that room. Number seven, you're running from that dude. You run up, up the stairs and around and you're hiding in the closet. And you're, oh, oh, oh my God, oh here he comes, oh my God. Oh, oh. He's gonna hear your breathing. Be quiet, control your breathing. Or guess what? You might as well just stood out there and go, here I am. You come and kill me now because me hiding in this closet, breathing like this isn't gonna help. Oh my God, here he comes. Not gonna work. You gotta be quiet. You gotta shut your mouth. I forgot what number we're on, but we'll just say next. I think number eight. Eight. Keep your phone on silent. No one ever freaking calls. And you know when they're gonna call? When you're hiding in the closet, listening to my last one, controlling your breath. You're being quiet. Oh my God, my phone is ringing. You know the dude's gonna be walking by, he's not gonna know to look in that closet, right? And all of a sudden, oh hey, the phone, yeah, I hear that phone ringing. I know you're in that closet, now you're dead. Now you're dead. The guy who is your friend that hasn't called in like eight months to see how you're doing, or two years, or 10 years, happens to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna call him today, right now, because Something on my mind says I should call this dude. And then all of a sudden your phone rings, now you're dead. Keep your phone on silent if you're hiding from somebody because you should have your freaking phone on you so you can call 911. Number nine, I'm gonna say number nine. When you go into that bathroom or wherever you're at and you open that mirror and you go to get your medicines out or whatever else, just know when you close that mirror, yeah, the dude's gonna be in the mirror behind you. He wasn't there the first time when you opened it when you closed it, guess what? Bam, the dude is there. But it always happens when somebody opens up a mirror and then they close the mirror, and then the guy's there. So don't go in medicine cabinets tonight. Number 10, never hide under the bed. The bed is not a hiding spot. If the first place I'm gonna look for anybody is gonna be under the bed, okay? Always, I'm always gonna look, I'm always gonna look right under that bed, why? Because that's where everybody hides. Oh my God, I need to hide. Where are you gonna hide? Under the bed. Okay, don't hide under the bed. It's a giveaway. There's no way out. There's three ways out basically. And he gotta get all three before you even can climb out of it. So don't hide under your bed because that's where I would look if I was a bad guy. Don't hide under your bed. It's like a PSA, okay? Tonight, no drugs and no making out with anybody because it always happens when the two teenagers start to go to make out together. What happens? Bad guy pops up from behind the couch, there he is, wha-bam, you're set, you're done because you weren't thinking about the bad guy, you're too busy thinking about her or him or whoever, and all of a sudden, the bad guy's in the house, now you're dead. PSA's out today, whatever a PSA comes out for, and it says don't do this, don't do it today, because the bad guy is looking for you to come right after that. How does he know? I don't know, but he knows. So don't do it. Fill your car up with gas, fill it up. Make sure the battery is charged. Because what happens? Like, oh my God, you're running. Hey, there's a car and you go to get in the car. Oh no, my car won't start. All of a sudden, here comes a dude at the window and he's sitting looking at you because your car didn't start because you didn't put gas in it or because your battery's dead. So put gas in your car right now before it gets dark and make sure your battery is charged, okay? And last but not least, number 14 is if a clown offers you a balloon, just say no. You don't want to float like that clown. You'd never go down into the sewer in the first place, okay? Don't go in a sewer today because I know, I know he has a, a friendly face and he is offering you a, 
I mean, it's a balloon, of course. Everybody wants balloons. I want to float, but not today. I am not going near a sewer or accepting any balloons. Simple as that. Oh, hey, look, a balloon. That's going to do it for me. That's my 14 steps to stay alive today on October 13th. That could be used for any day of the week if you think that your life is turning into a horror movie. All right? So just in case, keep those in mind. Stay alive. Happy Friday the 13th. Be safe. See you next week.